Ciao everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I am really excited to film this video. Here I'm gonna share with you my recent passion and that is sewing. I am really really happy and I'm still learning. This is a disclaimer, I'm not in no way a professional sarta. I am not an expert when it comes into this subject. I had zero knowledge when I first bought my sewing machine. This is my sewing setup. I am really, really happy to share it with you. I also want to talk to you about all of the other sewing accessories and materials that I'm able to collect and buy. And I have been able to build up my beginner sewing kit. And if this is interesting to you, just please keep on watching. This is exactly my sewing setup, the way you see it right now. And this is my uh, sewing machine. This is the Nike Q132A. I did an unboxing video about this. I also did an update and so far so good. <laughs> I have this machine for roughly three months now and I'm really, really happy. I hope this will stand the test of time. I hope this will stay with me at least until I'm 50. <laughs> I haven't had any difficulty at all. All I did was read the instruction manual. This one is a heavy duty machine. I must say it's not uh, really expensive but it's not that affordable either. But I chose this because I wanted a machine that is powerful, you know. And this is what I always say in my videos. As long as something works for me and I have the quality, it's alright. I don't really mind paying and I think this machine has everything that I want, that I need. Never had any difficulty at all. It is a beginner user friendly. It's not really complicated. I really do recommend this machine if you are beginners. The foot pedal uh, should be on the floor. I have this really uh, small space. It's, I can easily put this ironing board, which by the way, I sew it myself. I'm really proud of it. This is very, very useful, you guys. I can just easily put it here on the side. And since I have the electric pressa in there, I can just uh, attach my iron in there and just, you know, iron the fabric here on the side. Very, very easy. Anyway, this is my little iron. This is from Extra Star Plancha de Vapor de Viaje. This is a travel iron. It's really, really small. I got this like years ago. I can't even remember when. I can't even remember if I ordered this from Amazon or eBay. This is the most affordable iron that I saw. So I got it. Like, it's really, really cute. You can also easily fold it, you know. It takes a minimal amount of space. This is why it's a travel iron because you can actually carry this with you in your luggage as a little container. You can also put some water in there if you want to. If I need an iron, I have it, you know, but I iron my dresses and my clothes very rarely. Iron really suits me and even before I got into sewing and I didn't know that iron is such an important tool for, you know, sewing. Well, I have it already so I don't have any problems now. Um, these two stuff are very, very important. Just keep that in mind. And then I also have here, at the back, I have this uh, colorful threads. I think I posted something on Instagram when I first got some... Um, sewing accessories i did include this in that photo i got so excited on this shop called teddy i don't know if you have it in your country but, and it's really really huge there are a lot of stuff in there they have like a craft section where where you can find a lot of stuff for crafts sewing and you know hobbies and all that and I got so so excited. I was able to find a lot of sewing accessories in there and I got this. So this is really affordable. It just costs 3 euros. You have this long uh, thread that you can put here on top and another uh, bobina that you can put inside immediately. So here's the thing. This is a really low quality plastic and it is not the right size for my machine. So actually here, the bobina like hopping up and down. I don't think I'm comfortable with it because it might ruin my machine, you know. 
Actually, I have three bobina included in my machine here on this little container. I have three in here. So this is the original plastic bobina that is actually for this Neki machine. I'm planning to buy other uh, bobina. These are the ones that are, I think, disposable bobinas. I do trash them out whenever I finish them. I actually have used up a lot and all of those bobina, I got rid of them because I really don't like them. I'm not comfortable in using them here. Machines like this need a quality thread and a quality needle. So you really have to think about that. So I'm not gonna repurchase this. I don't want to ruin my machine just because of that. And here I have my mat. This is from Artway. This is the 45 by 30 centimeter cutting mat. This is like an A3 size. This is really small. I think this is the smallest cutting mat that I found on Amazon. And I really like the colors because my theme of all my sewing accessories is black, white, and gray. <laughs> I really want all of my accessories to be monochromatic. I don't know. It's, it's just me. It's just my preference. I mean, the color is not something really important, you know. important thing is the quality, you know. But I saw this. I mean, I fell in love with the color because I usually find cutting mats to be green. Other colors, usually it's green. I think the green one is the professional cutting mat really like it so far. It's really, really useful for me. It changed my cutting abilities of fabrics. Like, of course, you want to have your fabrics all cut up uh, very uh, straight and, you know, very neatly. So a cutter and a cutting mat really change the game. I also have this ruler from Silverline. And this is a 30 centimeter ruler. Again, this is a very affordable ruler that I found on Amazon. It's really short, I know. I mean, I'm just a beginner. I usually measure my fabrics using the measuring tape. I don't know, I'm more comfortable on that. I don't even use this for measuring, to be honest with you. But I need it to be able to press the fabric on the cutting mat and just, you know, to set together with a cutter. That is the main purpose of why I bought this ruler. And you also have a conversion table of the measurements. And then I also have these three on my mini bag in here. I have a fabric bucket and I have this really, really cute pouch. These are my own sewing creations. I also have another huge bag in here. This is really, really huge, guys. I don't have a permanent sewing station. So I keep all of these in my armadio, in my closet. And I really need one bag in which I can put all of these so that whenever I want to sew, I will just carry my sewing machine out from my closet. I will just carry my bag out of the closet and it's all done and then i'm just gonna put them in their respective spaces i scoot you in closer so that i will be able to show you what is inside all of these it is a mini bag that i created myself i'm really really proud of it it's really really here cute. is my necky instruction manual this is really important i always have this near me because Beginners, you always have to have this with you. This is really important. This is a 20 by 20 centimeters fabric. I got it from Teddy. That is where I got the thread set right here. And then I also have this Gutterman set value pack. This is a 100 meter Gutterman polyester thread. This is the thread that is appropriate for the sewing machines. I do recommend you check out Gutterman threads. You have to have this for the sake of your sewing machine. I do recommend you buy the quality threads. I got this from Amazon, by the way. It is not really hard to find. This is some old lenswala that I cut into pieces. I've already practiced in some, so you can see some holes. I keep this as a practice fabric. If I, if I need to test out the thread and the needle, if I need to test out the tension, the type of the stitches, and the length of the stitches, I have to have this with me. So this is a Velcro band. I also got this from Teddy together with all of these other accessories. This is a schmuck band. As you can see, they are not really expensive. Just 1 euro, 55 cents. This is the garter, black garter. 
um, this is the elastic ropes another garter silver garter white garter <laughs> I also have this atelier. I think I will need this with some projects I like got it These are hair elastic bands that I got from Amazon because I tried creating some scrunchies this is a lace detail from one of my old, old blouses. I kept it because maybe it will come in handy. I want to keep the zipper in here. I want to remove this piece of cloth. And then I also have some pieces of fabric. I don't know why I kept it. Maybe it will come in handy. I have this little gold beads that my dad gave to me that maybe it will come in handy as well another a zipper right here um, some old old garters from my old skirts <laughs> and then another zipper that i got from my old jacket old garters um, i don't know why i have this this is an old bracelet <laughs> Um, this one, I think this is the magnet that they use for the cardigans, jackets, and blouses. Um, I don't know if I will use it or something. These are the old zippers as well, garters, all of those other stuff. Old garters, some ropes, bands. I keep them in here because these are small pieces that I don't want to get caught inside my huge bags so I just keep them here so that is the content of my mini bag I don't want to you know open the product as long as I'm not using them so that they are uh, orderly like this I just turned my mic around <laughs> I didn't realize that I have the mic facing on the other side of the camera now that I am filming this way, I apologize if the volume is too low, but now I have my mic near my mouth. This is my fabric bucket that I created. I followed a tutorial, but I included this pocket that is really useful and cute. As you can see, I can insert some of the items around here. I'm really, really ecstatic about this. I have, of course, my scissors. So this is the cutter <laughs> that I got also from Teddy. I I conserved the box because I really want to uh, show it to you. It only cost me 3 euros. First of all, I like the color. This really matches all of my other accessories. And it's really ergonomic. You have this little uh, curves in there in which you can handle the cutter very nicely because your fingers go in there on the curves. It's really comfortable on the hand. I will try to replace the blade. I have this for like 3 months now. This so. is the chalk. <laughs> that I also got from Teddy. I really do like it. It's also ergonomic. Yeah, You have this little curve in here in which you can, you know, push your thumb in and trace the fabric easily, you know. I've used it a lot as you can see. These are the clips. I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. So I got this. I was kind of hoping to get a transparent clip like whites, but I can't find them. I just opted for the yellow ones. <laughs> These pins are given to me by my dad. I'm really, really happy. I, I really do appreciate that. He knows that I like sewing now, so he got them for me. This is another one that I got from Teddy. I, these are really cute and pretty. I like the stars. Uh, it's really hard to pin the fabric because they are kind of thick. If you are working on a thick fabric, this is really nice. For very thin fabrics, this kind of creates some holes, so you really have to be careful. And this is the pin that I got from Teddy. I haven't opened this yet because I have these two that my dad gave to me. I'm just gonna use all of these before you know opening up all of the other pins and then this is another Gutterman thread that I got when I purchased some fabrics um, I have my tape measure this one I got from the sewing box of my mom <laughs> I'm a thief she has another one a pink tape measure but I got this because of course black and white this is my theme this is the original <laughs> bobina that is included in my machine. These two come hand in hand when I use this color. These are all the needles. I use these for hand sewing. This is given to me by a friend. It kind of gave me some threads as well. I think I did show you that in my sewing machine update. 
knows that I'm into sewing now and I'm really really grateful all right so those are the ones that I have here on my fabric bucket these are the even smaller accessories that I have that's why I keep them here I cannot include all of these there in my mini bag because it will get all messed up let's go to my little pouch right here this is not an easy project mind you <laughs> Um, I'm a beginner so for me this is really difficult you have to have that kind of patience to be able to create this, this. kind of a boxy pouch but it is diagonal this is a pouch that when you open up it, it becomes a tray so I kind of thought of that I can use this for my other sewing accessories I kind of so had uh, problems with the measurements as well as the tray is not really perfect this is my uh, Schmetz universal needles I have the 70, 80, 90, and 100 needles. Schmetz is a very well-known brand for sewing machine needles. This one is the Prim Tomato Pin Cushion. <laughs> I still have the box, again, just for the video purpose. That's why I kept it like this. Uh, this is really, really cute. Here on the strawberry part, you can actually sharpen your needles in there. I find that really really cute and useful this is another so, that i got from teddy these are pearls for my projects these are the key rings this one i don't know what is this ah this is the zipper this is the zipper that i got for my project the cat pouch that i created i need to trash this out i don't know what why is it here this one is a piedino this is a presser foot that i got on eBay, I think, uh, for uh, Ricamo or Ramendo. How do you say it? Um, I really need this because I want to learn more on how to, to do uh, a certain type of stitching. So, this is not included. I have other presser foots that are included in the machine, but this one is not. So, I got it. This one is another Gutterman cream color thread. This one I also got together with the gray thread, also from Gutterman from the fabric store. My friend gave to me together with the needles. So some of them I've already used up. This is another one that he gave me. Buttons, rings, some safety pins, buttons again. Yeah, so I keep them here in this uh, little tray pouch last but not the least let's go into this large bag and i created this huge because of all the stuff in here i have here my necky table this is actually a part of the machine actually i haven't used it since i bought the machine let's keep it here in this bag just in case i need it you know and then i also got some stuff from teddy this is a um, feltro that maybe it'll come in handy. I have this fliselina, the teletta for my uh, fabrics. Some of them I have already used up. This will make your fabric stable, you know. Usually I put this here on, at the base of this bag just to make it sturdier. And then this is another teletta that you have to iron into the fabric so that it will have a little bit of a sturdier base. These are carta modelo that I printed <laughs> for my projects. This is the polyester thing that you insert inside some pillows in some of the sewing projects. This might come in handy, that's why I got it. It's just one euro. These so are also colorful Feltro or, you know, designs. This one, I don't know what is this. Ah, this is the plastic for, I don't know why I conserved this. This is the plastic for the cutting mat that I showed you earlier. I really need to trash this out. I don't need that anyway. This is another Selena Zips on a roll. This is a 5 meter zip. You have 10 sliders in there. This is from Threaders by Crafters Companion. I got this from Amazon. You will be able to decide the length of your zipper depending upon your project of course. This is what I used for my tray ouch i think this is the butterfly fabric this is the one 
cost 5 euros but it has the measurement of 140 times 90 centimeters got a good use out of it i mean i created a lot of stuff because of this so i also got this from teddy i really really like butterflies and this is the folio in feltro that is a 40 times 60 centimeters what else do i have here all right these are all the carta modelo that i printed that i really wanted to do this one is the base of the bag that I created. This one, this bag right here. It's really huge. Like, I doubled or tripled the original measurement. That's why it's really huge, as you can see. Um, what else did I have in here? All of the other printed Carta Modelo. I have this little envelope in which I keep all of them. Another small piece of felt 50 right times here. 50 centimeters for DIY patchwork. This is another stuff that my dad gave to me. I don't know how you call this material. I haven't tried sewing this type of fabric. I think this needs a certain type of needle and thread. To be honest with you, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm really grateful that my dad gave this to me because it might come useful, you know, for my projects. That's it. Those are the stuff that is in here in my bag. And I'm really, really happy with my creation. I mean, it's all personalized. <laughs> Those are my sewing accessories. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed rummaging through my sewing kit. <laughs> I really want to learn more. Please leave a comment down below. I really do want to know if you have any suggestions and some other items that you think are missing in my kit. Some items that you think is really dispensable and helpful for sewing really want to hear from you. if you like this video please give this a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel i hope this has been helpful for you as well thank you all so much for watching i'll see you on my next video ciao all right just a little bit of a quick insert i have filmed the video yesterday i just remembered i haven't shown you the fabrics. I mean, what is sewing without the fabrics? These are the fabrics that I have for the moment. I have been practicing a lot. So these sets right here are all my old clothes that I cut into pieces. And I must tell you that this is really, really important. I mean, I started practicing with my old clothes so that I won't have to, you know, waste a lot of fabrics. If you're a beginner and you still need to learn more about your sewing machine, like you have to try the different types of stitches and all that, you would want to like rummage a little bit into your closet and find some clothes that you don't use anymore so that you can start sewing. I highly do recommend that and I advise you to do that as a beginner. That's what I did at the beginning. And when the time comes, you would want to buy new fabrics like and then this part right here all of these are the fabrics that i bought like this fabric actually is the one that i used for my sewing kit right and then i have other um, types of fabrics right here some of them are still new and still intact i mean i haven't gotten a chance to like use them some of the other ones I've already cut out and used so I have all of the other small pieces. So these are all the fabrics that I'm currently working on. And you know, step by step, little by little, as I go along and learn more things, I would have to buy more.